Welcome back, friends. You're surviving the daily. So we're going into the third week of November, and I'm going to be showing you what I've been carrying and uh, what I'm going to be replacing with it. Some of the things I'm going to be changing out and some things I'm going to be keeping the same. So first thing first is I've been carrying the Maxpedition Micro, and it's a good little pouch. I think it has many uses. It's, it's not... Uh, quite what I need uh, or want. Um, I prefer something with an outside access, so I'm going to be replacing it with the Viper Aid VE16. Um, it has the outside access. I did just do a video on it. It's been searching for something just like this. Uh, I have always carried the Viper Aid VE1 and love that, but uh, this has the side zipper on it instead of the back zipper. It does have a back zipper, but for a much smaller pouch uh, pocket. So, so there's that. Um, some of you had asked how I was going to pack it out, and this is kind of close to my configuration. Um, but uh, I have been carrying, and I'm going to still carry the the Wally Wave, otherwise known as the. Ozark Trail Multiforce it is a Leatherman Wave clone. So I'm going to pull out the, the Crescent Wrench and the County Com Bit Driver because it's kind of redundant having both of those along with the uh, Multiforce. <clears throat> so there's that. I've been carrying the uh, V-Backs for quite some time. And in the middle of last week, uh, I decided to change it out to the Maxpedition uh, wallet and I'm not crazy about it. No fault of, again, of the the product, it's just not my style. I like the minimalistness of the V-backs. Uh, seems like I can fit a lot more in the V-backs uh, than the Maxpedition, even though it is a bit bulkier, but uh, so I'm not going to carry either one of those this week. I see a lot of you carrying the Chums Surf Wallet. So I'm going to give that a shot for a week, see how I like it. Um, I carried it all day today. So far, so good. Uh, <clears throat> now we're going to move on back to the old trusty notebook, leather notebook. <clears throat> and as always, the Kimber Pepper Blaster. This Pepper Blaster 2. Don't leave home without it. And then this past week, I've been carrying the O Knife by O Light. And very awesome knife. The more I use it, the better I like it. Gotta say that ergonomics aren't that great for me. Don't really like the shape of the blade, but it is a solid knife. I think those are. My personal preferences on that, but uh, I'm going to be changing that out with the SRM as the access lock, which I'm not quite used to. So that's going to be a learning curve. But uh, it'll be fun. It's considerably lighter than the O knife. And then as for a flashlight, I'm going to be carrying the Robivon E1 Angel Eyes. Just did a review on that. And uh, one thing I'm going to end up having to do is get used to the user interface on this. Because as you can see, it's obviously a pain in the neck for me. i got to go back and read the directions, but uh, yeah, give me a week, I'll let you know how I like it, and uh, one other thing, I'm going to be carrying the Zebra X701, and it's a pressurized pen, similar to the Fisher Space Pen. And uh, also the Sharpie clicker. But yeah, so there's going to be some 
some changes here, some things staying the same. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. And I'll come back next week and give you a review on if I can actually get the Revivon light to work for me the way it's supposed to. So there's that. And uh, damn. As always, I appreciate everybody watching and uh, hope to see you next time and have a great day.